Good morning and welcome to the Feeding House Ministries, a teaching ministry that focuses on your soul and your eternal destination. My name is Pastor Harry Craighead and we thank you for joining us on this beautiful Sunday morning. Today we're going to talk about, talk about reinforcement, support, build up, improve, capable of withstanding physical force. We're going to talk about strengthen. Life's challenges are designed not to break us, but to strengthen us in God. God stands, God sends trials to strengthen, strengthen our trust in Him so that our faith will not fail. Amen. The prayers of God's saints strengthen the unborn generation against the desolating waves of sin and evil. God uses the wicked to strengthen the determination of the righteous. A sincere Christian will pray, wait, and strengthen his heart with promises out of God's word. Never leave praying without looking up till God gives you a compassionate answer. Man is strengthened and finds happiness in finding the way in which God is going and then going that way. God will not go forth with the man who is not strengthened by his Holy Spirit. Amen. We can be assured and strengthened today by the presence of our risen Christ, by the help of, our, of the Holy Spirit in our life and ministry and by the enduring hope of seeing our returning Christ one day. Amen. And to take with us, abide in Jesus, the sinless one, which means give up all of self and its life and dwell in God's will and he will strengthen you. That's what creates the power that doesn't commit sin. Amen. Our strength is often gets in the way of trusting God. In the middle of his prophecy to Dan, found in Genesis chapter 49, verses 16 through 18, Jacob exclaimed, I trust in you for salvation, O Lord. He was emphasizing to Dan that he would be a strong leader only if he, his trust was in God, not in his natural strength or ability. Those who are strong, active, or talented often find it easier to trust in themselves than in God, who gave them their gifts. Remember to thank God for what you are and have so that you don't become, so your trust doesn't become misplaced. Our strengths are actually a point of spiritual vulnerability. Often we're tempted not through our weaknesses, but through our strengths. Yes. The devil tempted Jesus where he was strong. Jesus had the power over stones, the kingdoms of the world, and even angels. Mm -hmm. Satan wanted, to use, wanted him to use that power without regard to his mission. When we give in to the devil and wrongly use our strength, we become proud and self-reliant. Trusting in our own powers, we feel little need for God. To avoid this trap, we must realize that all of our strengths are God's gifts to us, and we must dedicate those strengths to His service. Amen. Hoping in the Lord means expecting that His promise of strength will help us rise above life's distractions and difficulties. It also means trusting God to fulfill the promise found in his word. Amen. As the limbs of our body grow stronger by exercise, so our faith will be strengthened by the very efforts we make in stretching it out toward things unseen. The believer needs to be strengthened in the power of the inner man. That is in the deepest parts of his being, in his soul, in his heart, and spirit, the spirit that God has renewed. 
That's where we must be strengthened with power. Why? Because one, because it's the only way we can overcome the flesh by its, all of its weaknesses. It's the only way we can conquer ten, temptation and sin, sin, grief and death, trouble and trials, disease and suffering, selfishness and worldliness, problems and circumstances. And two, it's the only way the believer can ever lay claim to all of the blessings of God and fulfill God's eternal purpose for his life. Yes. The, belie the believer must be strengthened with the power in order to break loose from the flesh and focus upon the eternal promises and call of God. Simply stated, the spirit must be strong and powerful to be everything God wants him to be and to do everything God wants him to do. Amen. God only, not only gives us talents, gifts, and abilities for ministry and for work, but his power and spirit enable us to do, do it better, even better than we ever thought we ever could. If we will discipline ourselves to stretch spiritually, we will be strengthened to do God's will. Even the strongest people get tired at times, but God's power and strength will never diminish. He's, he's never too tired or too busy to help and or listen. When you feel life is crushing you and you cannot go another step, Remember that you can call on Jesus to renew your strength. Amen.